Hey guys, it's Marcus here, and what I'd like to do in this video is show you how Widget Control is going to let you control your blog so that you can make money in tons of different ways. Okay, this is one of my blogs, as my dog just agreed, right? This is one of my blogs where uh, I have Bible reading plans and everything like that, and what I plan to do is actually put a video here to get people to opt in. So you can see that with regular WordPress, what happens is you have you know, your, your uh, drop downs or whatever you have in the sidebar basically carries over to every page, every post. Uh, it's all pretty much the same. You have really no control um, over this content, right? And if you go to a, an actual post, I think I have a post on this one, there we go, or hello world post, right? You can see that the uh, sidebar elements are the same, okay? Very, very, very important. So what we want to do is we want to be able to take control of our blog and direct people to where we want them to go, right? So if I pay for traffic or I get a bunch of traffic to my homepage and I have my video telling them to opt in, obviously we want them to opt in and then go to a page and we don't want them to see the opt-in again. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and fire up uh, the widget control plugin. Okay, so we're going to go here to widget control. And you can see we have the drop down uh, portion and a custom search box as well. Those are bonuses that we give you with this plugin. Uh, but basically, what you'll see is you now have opt in widget one, two, affiliates, thank you widget, sales widget. So everything is based on how you make your blog. Okay, so to give you an idea of how this works, I want to show you my blogprofitnetwork.com site. Okay, and then we'll go into like the dynamics of how it actually works and how you can use it. So basically, on my blogprofitnetwork.com site, what I do is I send traffic to all of the pages here, right? You have your pages here, and then your posts are usually down the side or whatever. Uh, a lot of people like to put them on their sidebar. But you'll notice here that I don't have any posts or content or comments or anything on this sidebar or anywhere. Basically, the whole idea is to get them to opt in. Okay, now if they don't opt in, right now I get like a 30 to 40% conversion on the opt in. What they do is they end up clicking other stuff, right? So they might go to this seven day blog profits video, uh, watch this one, and then opt in, or they might watch the creating a blog. So what it's doing is it's really giving them uh, some simple information that would help them. So, you know, you could do Bible videos, you could do whatever it is pertaining to the niche that you're in. Okay, really simple. Now, what you're going to notice is that after, uh, when they come here, they can't go to any of my content other than by opting in, right? So they can click on other stuff, but they have to opt in to get all my pages and posts. Now, we want that to look good to the user, but we also want Google to see what's going on behind the scenes. So when they opt in, you're going to see, uh, let's see, we'll just opt in here. Hopefully I can come up with an address. Let's see. Okay, so we're going to go here. And we'll go ahead and, and click let me in and they'll go and what's going to happen is they're going to go to this page okay so they go here as you hey can guys, see everything is completely controlled uh with this right we send them where we want they watch the videos um everything like that so so they're getting the experience that i want them to have now something cool is the fact that with google right google will see all of our content so you can see here if you click on the rss feed you have all my posts now, when you go to a post, you're going to notice a completely different widget set, right? So as I send them emails and say, hey, check out this video from my student, check out this stuff, they're seeing the Join the Blog Profit Network here, like my little sales pitch, and they also see all the cool free stuff, which is the recent posts. Okay, so Google is seeing all this. Obviously, you can see if we do um, something like, let's do... Um, Let's see here, we'll take one of these, right? You can see that Google does in fact um, index these. Okay, so let's go over here to Google and I'll show you that it does in fact uh, index so these let me sites. So get this recording started. Okay, so on Google, you can see it has indexed all the stuff, right? And you can see that if we do a site colon search, Google's seeing all this. So everyone who comes here from the search engines, right, they see what I want them to see, which is my, uh, you know, order now link or whatever. But the people that I'm buying traffic on, they're seeing something else. So you can control this exactly how you want. Uh, you can see they are, in fact, picking up all the content um, on this blog, right? Really cool. Um, and you can see here that that uh, widget set 
is the same, right? And we have the click here to sign up. I have my little ad here and my live chat here. And then this is another plugin that I have as well. We'll go into a little bit later. So really cool stuff. That's basically how it works. Now let me show you behind the scenes how powerful this is, right? Because number one, it makes a killer opt-in thing. You get a killer opt-in rate um, and you can control everything. So your thank you page could have uh, something different. So let me show you how it works with the Bible site. Okay, so here we have the Bible site. We have these things here and this other stuff here. So let's say we wanted to put an opt-in on the Bible site. Okay, so what we do is we go in here to opt-in widget one. All right, now watch how easy this is, okay? We say our widget title doesn't really matter because we're gonna hide it, okay? If you do want a title, you can have that there. Um, and basically we're gonna say, do we want it to show on the home page? No, do we want it to show in posts? No, I only want this to show in pages meaning that if they go to any of these pages, they're gonna see my opt-in widget. Okay, so we're gonna go here, and you can actually, like let's say I only wanted it on uh, the Read the Bible Online page, right? So if I only wanted it here, I would just go ahead and type in page ID two, or if I wanted on two, three, and five, two, three, five, right? Really simple, okay? So let's say we only want it on two, Okay, the contents you can kind of leave blank, um, or if you have your own custom autoresponder, just put the code right in here. The program will fix it, make it all fancy for you, everything like that. Now, if you're using Aweber, it's even easier. So let's say our Aweber list name is, um, let's say it's, uh, I think I have one called Simple Sites, or let's do uh, Simple Marcus. Okay, and we're gonna do our thank you page. So our thank you page, basically, it could be a post or a page or whatever. So let's go ahead and um, we'll go ahead and create a thank you page. Let's say we want our thank you page to be uh, the hello world post. Okay, so we're gonna do the hello world. We'll copy this as our thank you page. Bullet number one, let's say they're gonna get uh, Bible reading plans, Bible tools, plus free Bible software okay and this works in any niche that's the beauty of it is it just absolutely works great it's got a privacy policy already for you uh, if you're using aweber or you can do the html to make your own or you can even type your own here uh, this is basically like an html editor uh, so you can you know type it put images whatever you want okay we're going to go ahead and hit save okay let's see here and it even reminds you of stuff so we're going to do bible plan here Okay, and we'll just go ahead and hit save opt-in widget settings. Okay, success. There we go. So now on page two, which was this one, right? Now we should have our opt-in deal here. Let's see if we are configured. I think what we need to do is go to appearance widgets and make sure that widget control is over here. So we need to take widget control, right? And this is all stuff you do right after you get it. So you go widget control drag him right up here. We'll put him on top of the drop down. Okay, so there we have that. And now we should be ready to go. See, so now we have this. And choose your reading plan, Bible plan, Bible reading plans, Bible tools, plus the free Bible software. So everything's there, super cool, super easy. You can edit it however you want, uh, make it look a little bit fancier, like if you wanted uh, you know, this to be big and bold, or you wanted to have quotes around it or something, or you want it centered, right? You can do all that here. Um, you can even go to this, which I think this shows you. Yeah, this shows you like, okay, we wanna make it red, we wanna make it gigantic, right, like that. And of course, when you save it, that saves for you. Okay, really cool, really easy. So you have control of everything. All right, really cool, done deal. Took us what, 10 seconds and we got it on our site. And you can see that it's not on any other page other than the Read the Bible Online page, right? So it doesn't show up anywhere else. That's got a redirect on it, which I'll show you about later. Right, so it doesn't show up anywhere else. Now, if we want it to show up on all the pages, all we would do, is just take away that two. Now it's on all the pages, okay? Very important. So now when they opt in, they go to our, um, our page here, which is basically the Hello World page, okay? So now they're on the Hello World page. They don't have the opt-in box, right? Let me show you how this works uh, in real time. So if we go here, we go visit site. We say, yes, I want the Bible plan. And they put their information in. Let's see, I think it's good not allow fake ones. So we'll go here, hit let me in, and now, 
bam, we go to this page, there's no opt-in, right? With regular WordPress, you're gonna have an opt-in here and it's gonna be stupid and they're gonna be like, why did I just opt in? Why do I have to opt in again? Um, also, one of the things you need to know is if you're gonna put AdSense on your site, AdSense does not allow you to put AdSense on your thank you page, right? So this saves you from getting you know, kicked out of AdSense for little nuances like that. Okay, so that's the first part. You are also allowed to have two different opt-in widgets. Okay, so if I say, hey, I want this one on page two, but you know maybe I'm getting more traffic on page three that doesn't really want Bible plans. They just want like uh, Bible reading software, right? So let's say we want to go here and we say, okay, read the Bible in a year is number nine, okay, or, or Bible reading plans or whatever, right? So we could do the home page, yes, okay, and we're going to go here um, and we do Bible software. Okay, and you can see, and you can even have a different list name. Like if I want this one to be Bible Man List, or maybe maybe I call this list, um, you know, uh, Bible Software rather than Bible Tools. Um, and then we'll go ahead and we'll put Hello World as our thank you page again. Okay, bullet one. We'll just put one, two, three. Okay, three. And your advanced stuff, all that. Save. Now check this out. Okay, now we have Bible Reading Plans, our homepage has this one, right? And you can see we could hide the title if we don't want this to show up. And now it's getting them to opt in for Bible software as opposed to this one, getting them to opt in for Bible plan. Okay, really cool, really easy to do, really awesome stuff because you get to control it. Okay, now those are the opt-in ones. Um, you can have more than two on the latest version. Next, we have our affiliates widget. So let's say, hey, you know what? After they opt in, I want to show an affiliate banner, right? So if I go to uh, my affiliate company and I want to promote one of these offers, like let's say I want to do Daily Bible Guide United States, right? And then I just go down here and I'll get some banners, okay? And let's say I want this big long banner um, on my, on my uh, thank you page, right? We just take the, the little tracking code here, okay? We put that right into our, our uh, affiliate widget, okay? And we can put that banner, just get the HTML, put it right there, update. And let's say I only want that on the thank you page, right? So I'm gonna put that on post number one, okay? Post number one, we'll do show and post yes, only post one, right? So if I make a new post, this isn't gonna show up on it unless I specify it, right? Very, very cool, very important because sometimes you'll find out you're getting a ton of traffic to a post that you didn't even know existed or got that much traffic, right? And maybe you have a banner like this when you find your traffic wants something else and you want a different banner, right? So you could see here, even if I make a new post, it's not gonna show up there. All right, so you get an affiliate one. All right, you also get a thank you widget, works the same way. A sales widget works the same way. You could put like, like on my blog one where I have this sales widget here, really cool stuff. Um, live chat, whatever you want. It does HTML and uh, regular, you know, po pasting stuff in like uh, what you see is what you get, I guess is what it's called. Okay, so we go in there. Um, you also have recent posts. Now this is important, right? Because on your page, as I showed you before, if you want them to opt in for Bible plans, but you have like all these posts down here for Bible plans, then they're just gonna click those and they're not gonna opt in, right? But we still want Google and our other people to see the content that we put. Okay, so we're gonna go in here and we're gonna say, I only want this to show up on posts, right? Or whatever. So we go to recent posts, okay? And if I elect to show this, right? I could say, yes, I wanna show it in post and I will show as many as I could put there. That way Google like looks at it and says, hey, yay, this is wonderful, right? Just like I have on this one, where you can see down here, I have all this under cool free stuff. And you want cool free stuff, you don't want like recent posts because only bloggers know that terminology. And you know, most of us aren't marketing to bloggers and it doesn't look as good. Anyway, it doesn't entice them, right? We wanna be natural with the way that people use this stuff. Okay, next up, we want to check that out. So we got, okay, contents field, you gotta put contents, which is our title. We'll just put uh, cool stuff, okay? And we'll hit save and watch how easy this is. Bam, now on our posts, we have our cool stuff. Okay, and again, if you wanna hide the title, you just click that little uh, title hiding 
button there. We also have recent comments if you want recent comments and AdSense widget. So if you say, hey, I only want AdSense on posts or pages. Uh, for me, I only show it on pages um, if I'm in a niche that, that uh, warrants it. Um, and I'll just keep the other stuff uh, free of AdSense, right? So you get complete custom control um, and you just put your content, your AdSense code in here, bam, done deal. You're ready to go in seconds and you're controlling everything. And the neat thing is you can change it whenever you want. So if I have this running and I'm like, okay, hey, you know what? I don't want it on post 67. I can do that, right? Uh, very, very, very important. Also, you can have a drop down box. My studies have shown uh, that drop down boxes get a ton of clicks. Watch this, I'll show you what I mean. So you can see here in our lottery website, you can see we have 2,194 clicks and 2,950 clicks or visits and, and 2,900 clicked on something on the site. So where most people are getting like a ridiculous 75% bounce rate, meaning people leave their site without doing anything, we're actually getting more clicks on the offers than people who come to the site because they're clicking on the latest winning numbers. As you can see, that is a drop down. Um, this site makes money. The Bible site makes money. Super simple stuff. You can see I got AdSense on here um, and all kinds of things, right? Really, really easy to do. Um, so that really works. And you also get uh, to have those drop downs as well. You just create it there um, and it'll actually track uh, what people click on, which is kind of cool as well. Another one uh, to be natural with how people search is a search box. So now two of the things that I've made a lot of money with is being able to pre-pop an offer. That means I send them to the offer that I get paid on with their details already in it and also using custom search boxes. So for example, if I was going to do this tattoo offer, which I made a lot of money with, and instead of sending them to the home page, which most affiliates do where they get to search and got all these banners and stuff, I want to send them to a custom search for the keyword they want. So if they're looking for heart tattoos, I want to send them to the heart tattoos, right? I don't want to send them anywhere else. So the cool thing about this plugin with widget control is the fact that you can actually take your affiliate link from Tattoo Johnny, right? So I get paid a certain amount when they download and print out these fonts. Okay, but it, it's not going to convert if I just send them to the main page. I need to send them to the page with the stuff that they want. So like if I was going to sell a video camera at Best Buy, I would want to send them to the exact video camera, not just BestBuy.com. Okay, so now with a lot of affiliate programs, you can do this. But the key is with widget control, you can actually put in the custom search name, right? So we could call it like Tatman or whatever, Tattoo Man right and then you put your custom URL this is my affiliate link for this program right and we'll just put the HTTPs I think you gotta have those in there right and then what you do is you take where it's supposed to have uh, the variable right which they'll give you like keyword equals or email equals or zip code equals and we're gonna put search term right like that okay we hit save that automatically puts it on our site, right, like this, right? So we have this, this search box, and we can put whatever we want, search for your tattoos here, uh, search for Bible verses, you know, put your email or put your zip code to find movie times or whatever. So we could put in here heart, and it's going to take us through our affiliate link to the heart stuff on this offer so we get paid. And guys, this is how you make money. This is why so many people struggle online because they're not using things that are natural and they're not sending thing, uh, people to the things that they really want. So we also give you the search box as part of widget control. We give you the drop down. We give you everything that you see here so that you can start making money online by controlling your blog. And the cool thing about everything you see here is it's customizable. You can put it on a page, a post, a sidebar, in the content, wherever you want, on all pages, on all posts, on one page, on one post, or whatever you want so that you can start to make money with your blogs because the reason you're not making money is because you can't control the content until now. So go ahead, click the link below, get your copy of Widget Control. We have a killer discount for you and some special bonuses and some videos to help you get started making money online. Go ahead, click that link. I think you're going to love the price. We have slashed it for you and made it extremely affordable because I know once you get this, you're going to come back to me for training so I can help you make even more money. So go ahead, get started, and I'll see you on the inside.